Welcome to Gear Tracker 2 for Wear OS and Android Mobile. Today I'll be walking you through Gear Tracker's basic usage and app navigation features. I'll be using the Android Mobile app for demonstration purposes. The demonstration features are the same for the Wear OS Gear Tracker app. You'll need to be aware of five key elements to effectively use and configure Gear Tracker. Menus and submenu items. Menu item primary actions menu item secondary actions, menu item settings, and menu item toggles. The menu item's primary action is typically displayed in the menu subtitle. A single tap on a menu item will invoke this action. This could take you to a submenu, configuration page, or start a new activity. For example, if I tap profiles, this will take me to the full list of profiles where they can be pinned to the app's main screen start an activity or just configure them. Menu items which have secondary actions are indicated by a small white edge on the menu items right hand side as you can see here. Secondary actions are accessed by a long press on the menu item like so. As you can see this invokes a pop-up with all available secondary actions displayed. A single tap on one of these actions will select it. A second tap will invoke the action. Menu item settings are indicated by the small white cog on the left hand icon. Tapping the left hand icon will invoke the settings screen for the menu item. For example, tapping the left hand icon for a profile will take you to the profile settings. Finally, there's toggles. Toggles are indicated by a small white toggle icon overlaid on the left or right hand icons. For example, to toggle a split from a distance split to a duration split, you just tap the toggle icon like so. And tapping again will cycle through the available options. There's many more features and much more to explore in Gear Tracker 2, which I'll cover in future videos. But for now, I hope this video helped get you started.